Hello, this is Kamal. In this short video, I will show you how to run a DC motor in forward and reverse direction using logo controller. On the top of this control panel, we have two light indicators. One of them indicates motor running in the forward direction, while the other one indicates that the motor is running in the reverse direction. There are two normally open green push buttons, one to run the motor in the forward direction and the other is to run the motor in the reverse direction. There is one normally closed red push button to stop the motor. The process is as follows. If push button number one is pressed, then motor runs in the forward direction. Green light goes on to indicate that motor is running in the forward direction. When push button two is pressed, motor runs in the reverse direction and yellow light goes on. At any time, button number three is pressed, motor stops. Inside the control panel, there will be a logo controller and two relays and DC power module. A circuit breaker might be added for protection. I will use CAD E simulation software to show you both wiring diagram and ladder diagram. To add a logo controller on the toolbar, click inputs and outputs, then select logical module. Logo controller can be viewed as a realistic component and it can be viewed as a schematic diagram. By clicking on display component simple, you will be able to see the schematic diagram. There is also one more option that displays component 3D. To add push buttons, I will click on drive button, then click on normally open push button and click two times for two normally open push button. Right click to deselect the component, click again on normal close button, add a normal close button to turn off the motor. Now to add the output relay coils, there are two different options. I can add a real relay to my schematic diagram. Here's the real relay and to view the schematic of this real relay, I just need to click simple. It shows me that the coil exists between terminals 13 and 14 and then I got a set of normally open contacts, normally close contacts. Between 1 and 9, there's a normally close contact. Between 9 and 5, it is a normally open contact. The same thing applies to the other contacts. In this video, I will use relay from coils and signals. Select the coil and click anywhere just near the output to add two relay coils. I will give them two different names. The one that is going to run the motor in the forward direction, I will call it K1. The one that will run the motor in the reverse direction, I will call it K2. To make the connections of the inputs and outputs, I need to have supply. Now, since this logo needs 230 volt, I need to get line and neutral wires. To add line and neutral wires, click on power feeding. I can add them as separate wires, phase and neutral, and I can add them two wires together. To make the wiring, click on cables and connections, and then click on the red wire, then click phase wire to make the connection to the live wire. All inputs should be connected to the live wire from one terminal or one side and to the logo controller from the other side. To rename those inputs, double click each one of them and give it a name. From the other side of these inputs, I need to make the connections to the PLC controller. To connect the relay coil to the PLC output, we connect one side of the relay coil to the PLC output terminal and the other terminal of the PLC should be connected either to live if the relay coil is AC coil and to the positive supply terminal if it is DC coil. I'm assuming DC coil so one side is connected to the positive terminal and the other side is connected to the negative terminal. Next, I will add one light indicator in parallel with each coil. I need to click coils and signals and then select light indicator. Double click the light to change its color.
I will use this space to create a motor circuit for DC motor in two directions. We need to create bridge circuit. Click on motor, then click DC motor. Now I need to add the positive terminal of my power supply and the negative terminal of my power supply. To extend the positive terminal, I'm using red wire and to extend negative terminal, I'm using a blue wire. To connect protection air, use green wire. The circuit that runs the motor in the forward direction contains normally open contact controlled by relay 1 and normally closed contact controlled by relay 2. The circuit that runs the motor in the reverse direction consists of a normally open contact controlled by relay 2 and normally closed contact controlled by relay 1. Having a normally closed contact in each path provides us with a physical interlock, which means that the motor can run only in one direction at any time. To create ladder diagram, we use Logo Soft Comfort software. I'm gonna use the same application CAD E to show you how we can create a ladder diagram and simulate this problem. I need to add two lines. Any ladder diagram consists of contacts and coils. Click on ladder, then select normally open contact. Now this normally open contact represents the forward push button. According to the circuit, the forward push button is connected to input number two. So I'm going to tell the software that this contact is connected to input number two. Now I want this input to turn on the first relay coil, which is connected to Q1. I add a relay coil to represent the output and rename it Q1. In the same path, we should have another contact in series with I2 to turn off the motor. Push button that is used to stop the motor is connected to input number 4. So I just need to click ladder again and select normally open contact, drag the contact and change its name to I4. Now I'm using here normally open contact because the original stop push button is normally closed. Even though we did the physical interlock in the circuit itself, it is good idea to have a software interlock. Software interlock means when Q1 is on, I need to make sure that Q2 cannot be turned on. And when Q2 is on, I need to make sure that Q1 cannot be turned on. This can be done by adding a normally close contact in series in our first rung. Normally open contacts acts as buffer. They just pass the signal as they receive it. Normally close contact will reverse the signal. Since we have a normally open push button connected to I2, it means that user will press the button and Q1 will be energized and the motor start running in the forward direction. The moment the user releases the forward push button, motor stops because the relay coil K1 is no longer energized by Q1. To make sure that the motor keeps running after releasing the push button, I need to add what we call latching. Latching can be done by adding a normally open contact in parallel with the push button. We'll call this contact Q1. I'll do the same thing for the reverse direction. Run the simulation and check the circuit behavior. Forward button runs the motor in the forward direction and the green light is on. Stop button, turn off the motor. Reverse button runs the motor in the reverse direction and yellow pilot light is on. While motor is running in the reverse direction, it's not possible to run it in the forward direction and vice versa because we are using two types of interlock, physical interlock and software interlock. We must stop the motor first and then run it in the forward direction.
Thank you for watching.